my setup is built around the Mevo cameras. And so usually I'm gonna bring two Mevos to the ballpark. In addition to the Mevo camera, I'm gonna have some mounts that, ever, that I will use. Now, at this ballpark, even with the round poles that I have here, even though they're rather small, I run these magnetic mount they work really well to be able to peek in between the chain link that's at this ballpark. And even though the poles are not as big around as you might think they should be, they still hold very, very well. On the times that I'm not using the magnetic mounts, I will use this CCTV arm and I will zip tie this around the pole. This is another good source, uh, another good solution for mounting your Mevo cameras if you're gonna be peeking through the chain link at a ballpark. Cameras plus mounts, then I'm gonna be wanting to mic what I do. If I don't wanna use the built-in mic on the Mevo, then I'm gonna use a Deity D4 Duo, or I'm gonna be using the Rode Video Micro. Both of these do a pretty good job of picking up the game sounds that I want. The Rode Video Micro, it seems to me, does a little bit better job of isolating the sound that's behind it so I don't get as much crowd noise, which is always a good thing at the ballpark, depending on who is sitting behind the camera. Both of these come with a good quality windscreen. We'll be using this in just a few minutes when we go outside the press box and you'll be able to tell the, the, uh, that this is actually blocking the wind on a very breezy day today. For my connectivity, then I'm gonna bring out my MiFi from Verizon. It is the 8800 and I like to be able to bring in a TP-Link router as well when I have electrical access to be able to run that. Now, I'll show you, show you in a minute that I do, in fact, bring my own electrical access to be able to run that router as well. I also run a power bank. This is one I've had several years. There are smaller versions than this one that will have the, uh, the same capacity. This is a 25,600 milliamp hour, 93.2 watt hour power bank. And you notice that it does have an AC port in addition to its three USB ports. And then for my cameras or other, uh, other pieces of equipment that need battery backup, I have uh, several of these smaller backup batteries that I can actually mount below a camera if I feel like I'm gonna be going longer than the, the time um, a Mevo can last. And that Mevo does have about a six hour battery life, so I do have the ability to use that. I do keep various cables in this little case. I have my shock mounts here for my microphones. I have uh, uh, the cable that I need to run from my my five router, USB-C at the bottom, ethernet cable to my TP-Link router, and that will get me a wired connection to my internet access. Then I can let the TP-Link router handle the traffic back and forth between my control device and my cameras, if that's the way I wanna set it up on that particular day. By far, the most valuable piece of this equipment is right here the reusable zip tie. This is the most valuable piece in this whole entire setup. Now I know it's not a camera and you can't stream without a camera, but as far as getting everything to work together, to be where you want it to be, these reusable zip ties are the best thing I have found. You can loop them together to go around larger items, many as you want to, and then the tab here just releases so you're not cutting zip ties off and using them once and being done. A, a, a bag of zip ties will last me a couple of seasons before they ever wear out. It, actually, I lose them before uh, they, they, they wear out. In addition to the necessary stuff here, I do keep an air tag here. I should probably hide it behind the fabric here so it's not visible. But if this gets up and walks off, I want to be able to find where it goes. I also keep a monopod that I can zip tie to the fence and peek over the top of the fence. I know that puts my camera in a position where it can technically be hit by a foul ball and do some serious damage, but I take that risk often and I, and I use this for my second camera to peek up over the fence on the first base side. I also run a small tripod for those times 
that uh, that I don't have a good mounting place. Maybe it's a it's a net, and I need to back off into the stands even to catch a wider view, so that the the, the net just kind of gets looked through. So I keep a small tripod that uh, that clips onto the bottom of this bag. Another of the very valuable pieces is this 3D printed sleeve that I put on the back of my Mevos to hold cold shoe attachments. There are a few other pieces of equipment you might find valuable for your stream. I have several of these little ball head mounts so that I can adjust just how specifically that camera is going to peek through a fence or adjust the right angle left to right so that my horizon lines up the way it's supposed to. I also keep one of these dual mounts. Now this one goes quarter 20 here in the middle so it fits on a tripod and then I can add two cameras from a single spot and aim them in different directions to catch uh, a view of the field that might be unique there. Speaking of tripods, I do keep a tripod handy just in case I need something a little bit bigger. This is a photography tripod. It extends up to six feet and sometimes uh, basketball games for sure. This one comes in handy as I oftentimes will be in the stands there. And then I also keep a couple of lighting stands. This one will extend up to nine feet and I have used this many times streaming both football and baseball at places where I can't attach to the netting, the fencing, or the pole, and I need to be able to get an elevated view. This nine foot light stand does wonders for that. The last piece that I'll show you is a luxury, absolutely not a necessity, but it is this portable table stand. Now it's a, it's a tripod, but what it does is it allows me to be able to set my iPad or other pieces of equipment on a flat surface at the ballpark. And when I'm sitting, sitting next to the fence in, a, in my lawn chair, trying to juggle everything on my lap, this becomes absolutely invaluable. I love having this because it, it's height adjustable. I can put it how I want to. I can stand up and have it right here. I know you can't see this off camera, but I can stand up and have it right here, or I can lower it down so that when I'm seated, I have it as well. The accessories we have for this stream is sometimes what makes the stream or makes our experience streaming so much better.